Hey folks, just wanted to give you a quick update on my progress with the Squat University ankle mobility routine I've been using. So let's take a look. Let's first review the mobility routine. It starts off with this heel drop. Just standing on a block and letting the heels drop, making sure that the buttocks are tight and letting the weight of the body stretch out the calves. My left side's tighter than my right. It takes quite a while to get the left side to release. But then after this, I move on to using the foam roller to roll out the tight spots. And I start with the left side, which has more tightness than the right. Spend a little bit of time on each very tight spot. I've been doing this for a little over a week now, and the tight spots are getting fewer, and they are less tender and I've also progressed to after doing the foam roller I put it use a tennis ball put the tennis ball on the floor and then the tennis ball behind my knee find the tight spots in my hamstrings upper gastrocnemius and roll that out as well with the tennis ball the tennis ball gives a little bit more concentrated pressure I found that very helpful for releasing tension behind my left knee so after I finish rolling out, then I move on to the uh, two stretches that were recommended. One is the basic psoas stretch, such as you see here. So it's a forward lunge. The buttock on the leg that is behind is held tight. That relaxes the psoas, I reach overhead, which increases the stretch in the psoas, and then I repeat it on the other side. Again, I keep the knee over the foot, the buttock on the, of the leg that's behind is, is held tight, and then I reach overhead. And after I complete this, I do the um, stretch that uh, Dr. Horshig called something like the best stretch ever, something like that. It's basically you get a lunge position and again tighten the buttock of the trailing leg and move around a little bit, find a tight spot in the psoas and just tighten the buttock and help release the psoas and then you do this twist. And I found this to be remarkably effective for releasing my tight psoas. I was making some progress with other stretches, but this stretch that I learned from Dr. Horshig is just remarkable for my condition might help some others as well. So again, you tighten the rear buttock in the lunge position. The knee is bent for the trailing leg. After moving around a bit to find the tight spots and release them, then you do this twist and then you're done. So then next is the squat with the counterweights. So the, you wanna be flat footed, no shoes for this and use a 10 pound plate, that's what I use, and make the feet parallel and squat into a full squat. And then what I do is hold this squat. I started out with three or four minutes and now I'm up to holding it for seven minutes after this about seven days of training. So as I'm sitting in the bottom of the squat I it may look like I'm doing nothing partly because I have this in slow motion so that I have time to talk about it but um, I tighten my buttocks off and on so squeeze release squeeze release and also there it makes small movements with the thighs uh, moving the knees inward and outward very very slightly and try to find a deeper and deeper squat over time. So 
when I get to seven minutes, I'm deeper than I was when I started. And then we move to testing. For this test, you want your foot five inches from the wall. Stacking two two by fours in this configuration will keep your foot five inches from the wall and prevent it from sliding forward. On the left, you see what I did on October 25th. I got within about two finger widths, one finger width from the wall on October 25th. And here on November 10th, I got my knee to the wall. So, made um, significant progress in 10 days. The left side is tighter. I have more trouble with that. So on October 25th, I didn't quite get as close as I got on the right side. And the same is true on November 10th. It's more difficult for me to get in. And you can see that my left heel almost comes off the floor on the November 10th side but almost not quite and I got my knee not as solidly against the wall but against the wall so that squat university routine worked very well for me maybe it'll work for you if you've got limited ankle mobility give it a go